Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are five banks. They are offering credit cards, and for this they gave telephone calls to residents of a society. No resident received more than one call from a particular bank. Now these banks and the number of calls they made are given to us, and we are also given a table along with it. So what does the table signify? It says that the value mentioned in the table indicates the percentage of residents that got calls from a particular bank and the number of banks they received call from. So this means, for example, twenty percent of the residents who got call from ICICI Bank got calls from exactly four banks. So this is the number percentage of users that got calls from these banks, like twenty percent, twenty percent, ten percent, and this is the number of calls that they received. So twenty percent from ICICI Bank that and they got four calls. Similarly, if we have this number, it means that fifteen percent of the people who got calls from MX got calls from two banks. So I MX plus one more bank, ICICI plus three more banks. Okay, so based on this information, we need to answer these questions. So let us first write the values. HDFC is eighteen hundred. Then we have MX twelve hundred. SBI is sixteen hundred. ICICI nineteen hundred. And <coughs> Axis Bank is two thousand five hundred. This is the total of these banks. Now the logic to crack this examination, uh, this set is: see, we are not given these complete values, but we know that if a person is getting calls from five banks, so that value should be all overlap. That means a person is getting calls from all five banks. So whatever the number here, let us say x, this should be equal to x. This should be equal to this. Should be equal to this. Should be equal to this. So the first logic to crack the set is this: that all the numbers should be equal. Because if I say that some persons getting calls from MX, so they are getting all five calls. So X should also have that same number. HDFC should also have ICICI and so SBI. So for HDFC, we know this number, which is three sixty. So that means all five calls is three sixty. So three sixty people got call from MX. The same three sixty people got calls from X is also the same got from HDFC, ICICI, and SBI. Now the first question asks: Of the residents who got calls from X's bank, how many got calls from exactly four banks? So we need to find this number. Now we are given these percentages. We can find the numbers. We have now calculated this number, so we can calculate this. So if you look at the Axis Bank, twenty five hundred people, and this is thirty plus twenty five, fifty five percent. Fifty six into twenty five is fourteen hundred. So thirteen seventy five. These people are thirteen seventy five. Three sixty is all five. So we will get seventeen hundred thirty-five. Total people are twenty-five hundred. Out of which seventeen thirty-five people have got. We have categorized into these four. So what remains is seven hundred and sixty-five. So that is the answer to this. Next question: How many residents got calls from exactly one bank? So if a person is getting a call from exactly one bank, that person will get from only that bank and no other bank. So this means there is no overlap. So five means it will be a complete overlap, and all others will be partial overlap. Now there will be no overlap, so we just need to find these and add the values. So we can write these values: six twenty-five. This is three sixty. This is one ninety. This is one sixty. We are left with one of the values, which is this. How to calculate? Like we found this value for axis, we can find this value as well. So this is fifty plus fifteen sixty five percent. Twelve into sixty five is seven eighty. Plus three sixty is all five. So total we have achieved is eleven forty. There are twelve hundred people who got call from MX. Minus eleven forty gives us the value as sixty. 
So this is 60. Now just add these. So this is 350, 710, 770, 1395. So the total is 1395. Next question. At most, at most means maximum. <clears throat> How many residents got calls from both ICICI and SBI but not from any other bank? Now, both from ICICI and SBI and not from any other bank means this thing. Two calls and from this. So, first of all, let us find out how many people got calls from ICICI and uh, one other bank. So, that is 20%. Uh, this is 380. And this number we will simply subtract and get like we did for others. So, 25 plus 10, 35. 16 into 35 is 560 plus 360 is all five calls that is 920 okay uh, total is 1600 minus 920 we get 680 so we have 680 people getting calls from SBI plus one more call and 380 with ICICI plus one more now we need to maximize the number of residents okay so what we can assume is see these this 380 means that icici plus any other bank it could be mx xs hdfc or sbi this 680 means sbi plus any other bank also now if we assume that all these people who got icici got sbi also so we can maximize this value up to 380 so if we assume that all these 380 people got calls from SBA also, we cannot put at 680 because there are just 380 people in ICICI. So this is the, we have to find the lower of the two values, which is 380. Next question, among the residents who got exactly three calls, at least how many residents got calls from ICICI, but not access bank. Okay. So let us find the values of uh, ICICI and access. Access is 1, 2, 5, 0, okay, and uh, then we have ICICI if we consider that is we will find this value, this is 50 percent, so 50 percent is 950. that is 1310 and we have subtracting from 1900 we get 590 okay uh, sorry this is 500 500 people 20 percent is 500 and this is 590 like 360 plus 50 percent of 1900 that is 950 and we subtracted it we get 590 now this number is 590 and this number is 500 20 percent of 2500 so we need to answer how many residents got calls from icica but not from access bank so there are 500 people who got calls from access bank and they must have got two other calls and 590 people from icica and two other calls now, there will be some overlap between, there will be some common people between Axis and ICICI, right? They will have overlap with other banks also, but that will also overlap. Now, we need to get ICICI, but not Axis. We need to find the minimum here. So, we will try to maximize the overlap. If we maximize the overlap, this will be minimum. So, maximum overlap can be of 500. <clears throat> so, we can think like, there are all 500 people who got calls, the, there are 500 people in excess in this category. So let us say all these 500 got calls from ICA also. So minimum there will be 90 people who will get calls from ICICI, but will not get calls from <coughs> excess bank. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.